Hello everyone. This is a little additional information about the video I made yesterday about the solar eruption. Uh, this is a forecast of the modeling that they have up so far on whether it's, you know, going to hit us real good or miss us or what. And it apparently is projected to be a glancing blow. So, this is us, these two back here, the red and the blue are the stereo units, the A and the B. <clears throat> so, we'll let it run through for you. And you can watch the sun erupt it out. You can see that a major portion of it is going by the Earth, but a little bit of a trail is going to affect us a little bit. So you can see. We're going to miss the majority of it, but we're going to absorb a little bit of it. And the other sunspots that they're watching <clears throat> as it rotates around, well, we'll just have to keep an eye on them. That's all we can do. We can't stop, stop them from rotating around. They may have the potential for some activity, whether they will let us have something or not remains to be seen. Well, I just thought I'd put this model up here, let everybody take a look at it, a little additional information. And this is for the global warming people. Yesterday's high in my town in my state was 81 degrees, the low was 60. One year ago, the high was 94 on that day, the low was 65. In 1917, the high was 105. The low was in 1903, 45 degrees. So, 97 years ago, it was 20, 24 degrees hotter than it was yesterday. That's just a little something for them, showing them that the past has been hotter than the present. Oh, I think we've ran this long enough. There's your K index, your mag field. You still got about the same 60% for M and 30 for the X. Your high latitudes, obviously, you'll receive more percentage wise possibility than your mids. a little information about it. May have produced a video like I can see in the afterall. 
and we've seen how earth directed it is. This little video here would be just a little different of a view. Faint CME with the first flare emerging. Second overtakes it. June the 13th is the date that they gave. Four in the offing. These are the sunspots that we knew about, we discussed yesterday. And they, they have unstable magnetic fields that could erupt. That doesn't mean they will, but they have the possibility of it. This 2087 is the one that they're watching real good. They claim it's particularly potent. So there you go. I hope everyone is well. The elites are doing everything they can to distract you. The latest veteran scandal at the VA hospitals is not getting hardly any airtime anymore because of the burglar release. That's the way they play it. <clears throat> One thing after another. You get so many things going that you lose your attention of something important and you turn to the next newest, bestest thing. How's it going over there in Iraq? Yeah, get rid of Saddam, hey? He's going to bring peace and stability and all that good stuff. The place is a wreck. What's this new headline here? Hey, U.S., will you please help us out? Will you send some drones over here to do some strikes? Hmm, that's interesting, huh? How about Afghanistan? How's it going over there? Didn't they say some Americans were just accidentally killed in a drone strike? We had a little article published about that. Yeah, that worked out real well. How's Libya doing? Yeah, we went over there and killed Gaddafi too. Or regime change. How's that doing? Oh, well, we got ourselves a little civil war over there, don't we? Yeah. Well, how's it over there in Yemen? Things working out pretty good over there, huh? Yeah. How about Egypt? Yeah. How about that air spring over there in Egypt? Got rid of old Mubarak, too, didn't they? Things got real good over there, too, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, got caught with their hand in the cookie jar over in Syria. Had to back off that a little while and let the heat die down there. Yeah. Didn't want to answer no questions about arming the rebels, who the rebels really are, and how they really shot off the chemical weapons. Yeah, kind of had to let that die down. Yeah, how about over there in Russiaville? Hmm? About the Crimea, oh, we're going to let all that settle down now. Yeah, we're going to back off that Ukraine stuff for a while. We're about ready to get caught with our hand in the cookie jar again. Yeah. It's ridiculous, folks. You know, it's up to all of us. They propaganda us so much, just like Nazi Germany back when Hitler was running them. You know, there's hardly any any independently owned small newspapers like there used to be years and years ago. You know, the big corporations and stuff have just gobbled them all up. And they, they own practically every newspaper. And since they do, they can dictate 
what information they want put out, how, what exactly is said and how it's said, what ideas they're trying to propagate. They're after controlling people's imaginations, people's minds. You know, they had a little thing, I was just watching uh, Fox News, and they were walking the streets asking people about Hillary Clinton and what they thought her, you know, her best major accomplishment was, her biggest accomplishment. And it was just blowing my mind hearing some of these people's answers. It, it was just absolutely ridiculous. You know, if those were the thoughts of, you know, if those few that answered if, if they even come close to representing a, a major portion of the views, you know, we're, we're really in deep crap. Because if, if, if nothing against women, of course, but if a major accomplishment is her bringing about more women's rights and stuff. Or if someone thinks that Benghazi, that her and Obama did a good job on Benghazi, where do they live? Where have they been living? Have they been living under a rock? Or have they been living on Mercury or something? Or I mean, how would one think that that was a major accomplishment? when it's a major lie and a major fail. And then we have the release of a book. Now, do you really believe that? Do you really believe that when her and Bill Clinton left office, that they were in debt and dead broke? That's, a, that's pretty laughable, isn't it? You know, they had to maybe spend a little bit of cash on his defense during his impeachment and whatnot. But you got to be kidding me. To sit there and tell us that they were in debt and debt broke, you've got to be kidding me. I mean, she's a Rodham, right? <laughs> she's never been broke in her life. Her family has, has got money. I don't see any other thing coming. Do you think she can beat Joe Biden? <laughs> Do you? Well, I guess Mr. Vice President's going to be her biggest stud challenge. And how about the other side? Hmm? Marco Rubio. How about that, uh, that brainy intellect that couldn't even tell you the three branches of government how about that Rick Perry? Reckon she can beat him? How about that uh, big teddy bear, Chris Christie? Reckon she can beat him? How about the uh, son of the well-known retiree, Rand Paul? You see what I'm talking about? And then maybe they'll throw in a Bush, who they... Everybody hates pretty much now. It's tarnished all their, their, what they would call a good name. And they could throw a, you know, they could throw Romney in there again to lose again. So, you see where this is going? Everything looks like it's set for another Clinton. And oh, it's just like a monarchy. It's like a, a monarchy. Oh well, my rant's over. I just thought I would try to get you guys to thinking out there. God bless you all and keep you safe.